What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. Back once again. Just wanted to do a quick video, um, show you this new product that I just got in. I'm going to add this to my boat. Something to kind of keep the wear and tear down on my trolling motor whenever I'm out there and I hit that rough water, which I definitely have been in before through some of the tournaments. But um, this is it right here. It's called the Troll Tamer. Looks like it's a pretty quick installation. Um, and basically all this does is it'll secure the trolling motor in place. So once you pull that thing down and stow it, it'll lock it in position for you and prevent it from bouncing around. Um, Cause that has been known to break some of the components within the trolling motor itself and to just, just loosen up the screws and things like that over time. So with the way these trolling motors are now, you know, it's a pretty significant investment. So you do want to protect that. So let me just go ahead and just show you this quick installation on that. And, um, then that's it. And actually, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I do have some good fishing videos out there. Um, and I do have some previous tournaments, things like that. So there's some pretty good content on there, something that you can look into. I'm um, pretty sure you'll enjoy it. But like I said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into this installation real quick. All right, guys. All right. So once I get this installed, it's going to do basically two things for me that I'm looking for. Um, first thing is to clear up some of this area right here by allowing me to remove the support post right here Because um, what that does is out on the water whenever I'm coming in sometimes as you can see this rod is right next to it right here So in some cases when I'm pulling that trolling motor up if I have some rods on the deck it actually hits the butt end of my rods and kind of worried about it breaking that so this troll tamer will allow me to um, remove that piece which is pretty simple by just removing those two screws right there. And then I'll be able to put this troll tamer back a little bit, maybe about right here. So that'll free up all of this space up here in the uh, where the rods are at. Um, and of course, the second thing, it will secure that trolling motor for me because one of the things that you definitely do not want to happen, which has happened to me before in rough water, um, the trolling motor screws, there are brackets and things inside of there that will break. And with this old Trex and some of these newer trolling motors, they are electric. So I definitely don't want to run into issues if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, like I said, one of the main things with this trolling motor is you're protecting that investment by allowing it to stay securely in place during this rough water and not allowing those screws to loosen up and other things like that that can go bad with it. But um, let me go ahead and show you this clip real quick of when I did run into some rough conditions. And I'll put the link to the full video down in the description area if you wanna go ahead and watch that that uh, trip on Gunnersville. Now that was one of the worst rides that I've had to take. But um, like I said, something like this would have came in handy because that ride did break the brackets, um, the pivot brackets on my um, trolling motor on my previous trolling motor. All right, here you go, take a look at this. All right, so the tools that I will be using for this installation are a drill with a 332nd drill bit. That's to drill into the deck of the boat to put the base of the stabilizer in place. And we'll need a 7 16th drill bit. That's to drill into the trolling motor bracket itself for the stabilizer bar. 
and that smaller drill bit is just to um, kind of make a hole for this, uh, to make it easier for that 3 7 16th to uh, begin drilling into. And the Loctite is basically to hold the stabilizer bar in place once you put those screws in place. Seven sixteenth drill bit, and this will make the pilot hole for the troll tamer to be installed directly to the trolling motor. All right, five eighths and eleven sixteenths. I've already put the Loctite on the bolt and um, put the stabilizer bar in place. Now I'm just going to tighten those up and then install the mounting plate that the stabilizer bar will lock into. All right. All right, so I have the stabilizer base in place. I went ahead and drilled the pilot holes and about to go ahead and put those screws in there, which will be about the final step for it. So all I did was just kind of um, align that up with the stabilizer bar right here and made sure that those two are in alignment, um, put it in the place that I want, and I had this piece right here angled. So whenever I pull up the troll well whenever I'm about to pull up the trolling motor it's in a location that's easy for me to just push with my foot um, to go ahead and release that stabilizer bar all right went ahead and unscrewed the support post just have to remove those two screws right there and move on to the next step all right got that bracket removed I decided to leave those two screws in there just in case I need them for something and I don't misplace those. Got it cleaned up and ready to go. All right, there we go, fellas.